This quick video showcases the common snakes of the Tokyo area. While Tokyo is the largest city in the world, the outskirts are mainly forest sprinkled with rice paddies. It's in this area where snakes are most commonly seen, usually crossing the roads mid-morning. The most commonly seen snake is the Japanese keelback. The Japanese keelback is a small brown snake. Fully grown, it reaches approximately 40 centimeters in length. It's non-venomous and feeds mainly on worms. It moves relatively slowly and is sadly frequently hit by cars on the road. You can also find it under rocks and debris. It's most commonly seen in the early morning hours, especially after rains. Speaking of rain, spring showers tend to bring out a lot of life in the Tokyo area. Everything from crayfish, to turtles, to obviously tadpoles, which eventually turn into frogs. But some of my favorites are the insects. There are dragonflies of multiple colors, including this one, the largest species in the area with really big green eyes. Of course, there are plenty of butterflies, usually brought out by the puddles created by the rain. Here is a common blue bottle, which its colorful name suggests. All right, back to the snakes. There are three rat snake species found in the Tokyo area. The forest or burrowing rat snake, the Japanese rat snake, and the four-lined rat snake. The forest rat snake, otherwise known as the burrowing rat snake, is the smallest of the rat snakes in the Tokyo area, coming in at approximately one meter when fully grown. It's arguably the prettiest snake in the area. It's a bit more colorful as a juvenile, dulling a bit as it matures. The amount of black speckling varies from location to location. It's usually found mid to early morning on roads or under cover. It rarely strays out into direct sunlight. Like all rat snakes, it's non-venomous. This is a four-lined rat snake. It grows to an impressive one and a half meters in length. This individual happens to be just shy of a meter. You can easily see the four lines, hence the name. It's found throughout summer, crossing roads midday. It's not venomous, but does have a decent set of teeth. That said, it's usually reluctant to bite. The last of the rat snakes is a Japanese rat snake. Aodaishu is the Japanese name, although I'm probably mispronouncing that. It comes in many color forms, from brown to yellow to green, and there's even a bluish phase. It grows to an impressive two meters in length, the largest snake in the Tokyo area. While non-venomous, it does have a decent set of teeth and can inflict a good bite. I've been bitten by this species a few times, including one bite to the face. These snakes are usually seen in the summer from mid-morning throughout the heat of the day. The next two snakes are the venomous snakes of the area the tiger keelback and the mumushi. I'll start with the tiger keelback, the least venomous of the two. The tiger keelback is an olive greenish snake that grows to about a meter in length. Its coloration transitions to red and black checkers on the neck. While venomous, it's extremely reluctant to bite. While I wouldn't recommend this, you can see its gentle demeanor. Tiger keelbacks eat frogs and use the frog's toxins to secrete a poison on the back of the snake's neck. This snake truly is poisonous. When agitated, the snake will flare its neck, hoping the predator bites the neck where the poison is secreted. That said, this snake is quick to leave the scene, lying on escape rather than confrontation. The last snake is the most venomous snake in the area, the mamushi. It's a small brown snake growing to approximately 80 centimeters in length. That said, it's pretty thick for its length. Being a pit viper, it can sense heat. It relies on camouflage to hide in its surroundings. Occasionally it can be found crossing roads, and if encountered, it may coil on defense. It will strike out if it cannot escape. It can also be found under rocks. Its venom is extremely toxic and all bites should be taken seriously. Around 10 deaths in Japan occur each year due to this snake. While most never see the underside of this snake, its salt and pepper coloration is quite stunning. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video, guys. I'm actually in Tokyo as we speak. I just finished the edit and it's about 2.30, so I'm gonna go look for a few of those snakes that you saw in the video. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, subscribe if you want to and uh, we'll see you.